Why not try some music? No, God, please, no, 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 no! The Daft Hour. Yeah. Hello. Um, so, Helen Daniels from Neighbours, do you oh, remember yeah. her? I'm, oh, I remember Helen, yeah. Yeah. She yeah. was good, wasn't she? Yeah, I, I much preferred Bouncer. Oh, Bouncer was brilliant. As Helen Daniels. Yeah. That was the stage show, wasn't it, where Bouncer went along and talked? Yeah, and pr- um, did every single... Scene from uh, Neighbours as Helen Daniels, yeah. ever, yeah. Yeah, it was good. Hello, and welcome to the Daft Hour. Oh, we're, on uh, there, are we? we're live Hello. here at CVFM Radio. We're not. 4.5 FM. We're not live at CVFM Radio. We're actually uh, transmitting from a, do- a doghouse in Silent Hill. That's right, Benny. <laughs> that's Benny. Benny's brother, isn't it? Yeah, Benny Hill. <coughs> yeah, right, brother. okay. Yep. Perfect. My name's uh, Morgan Fantastic. I'm in here, as usual, joined by my two sexy beasts. Um, would you like to introduce yourself? No, thanks. Okay, cool. So that's Elvis Herod, and we also have. Yeah, no. Uh, Bambi Rashid, how are you doing, boys? Uh, fine. Thanks for that intro. <laughs> I'm yeah. on my knees today. He is. It's really weird. It took him ages to get here that way as well. Mm. <laughs> Do you have little shoes on your knees? No, no, no. Oh, okay. Uh, so, how, how are we doing? Yeah, all right. I mean, I've I've discovered some new things this week. What have you discovered? Australia. Have you? Yep. Have you been? No, no. I just discovered it. You didn't uh, know it existed. No, not at all. Not a clue. Oh, right. uh, I thought Neighbours was just transmitted from next door. You're dead good at discovering things you are. Hey, Andy. Remember when I discovered uh, a poodle? Oh, yeah, in the cupboard. <laughs> yeah, in the cupboard. Yeah, poodle in the cupboard. Poodle in the cupboard. It was our game for about six years. <laughs> we had a laugh, didn't we? That day. did. That was fun. <laughs> hey. So what have you been up to this week, apart from uh, that, Herod? What have you been doing? Uh, I've been ill. I've been in bed. Have you? Yeah. What with? Helen Daniels. Just me. No, but, like, what, what was the matter with you? I don't know, I had like swollen glands and bad throat. It was really difficult to swallow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, um, <laughs> what, what have you, you look upset? really upset about it. I am upset about well, it. Well, you lost lots of money. Mm, and blood. <laughs> I've been on tour. Have you? Yeah. What I've, have you been doing? I've been doing impressions. Oh, have you? What, who, yeah. what impressions have you done? Well, just the one. Which one? Uh, so I've got a really good, and I've got it like nailed down, Robert De Niro impression. No. Wow. Go for it. I'd yeah. love to hear this. Are you going to do this for so, us? So, yeah. So basically, Fantastic. usually I, I charge people for this, and it is a two-hour show. Right. Um, so... Uh, I'll do it for you today for free. Oh, that's that's amazing. So everyone knows Robert De Niro, don't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Famous, yeah. famous yeah. actor. Yep. So um, basically, imagine Robert De Niro being very bad at <clears throat> uh, at snooker. Oh yeah, I, I reckon he is. You know. Yeah. I don't think he's got the coordination. So basically, for it, he no. wants to be better. So are, are you ready? Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. I'm I'm braced. Okay. Herod, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Cool. I could have been a snooker player. Just remind me again who that was. That was Robert De Niro. Robert, Robert De Niro. Robert. Right. You saw my face, though, didn't you? Do it again. Bobby Deno. Do I'll it do again. it again. Yeah. By the way, this is award winner. I've been on two of this. <coughs> right. I could have been a snooker player. Okay, I'm not getting it there, mm. but what if you change the situation? I could have been a shopkeeper. And uh, mm. what about a fireman? I could have been a fireman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, t- I'm just, I'm not feeling it. Why? You looked, you looked like Phil Cool from the eighties. Do you remember that guy who did impressions? He was only seven, isn't was he? Was he good impressionist like me? Um, he could do a very good Robert De Niro, but so he, used, can I. he used to pull this funny face where he'd like, yeah, like that, like the one you're doing now. Can you see um, in the audience? Can you see? Do you think we've got an audience? Well, if they're listening, can you see? They, they can't, mate. It's his radio. I could have been a radio host. Just to describe the look, um, there was a, an advert for Maltesers many years ago oh, yeah. and it had a wide mouth frog. Oh, yes. You remember yeah, that? Yeah. That's what he looked like. I yeah. could have been a wide mouth frog. <laughs> you couldn't. This is an awful impression. It's not. It's award winning. Who give you this award? All the impressionists. Which impressionists? Um, Van Gogh? Bobby Davro. <laughs> oh, Davro? <laughs> yeah. Uh, um... Alan Armstrong. Alan Armstrong. Yeah. Yeah. And Neil. Uh, his brother Neil, yeah. yeah. And uh, 
and Theresa May. She's not up to much. Th- this, these aren't real awards. You didn't get them. They're, unlike, they're real people. Unlike this um, Tees Valley BME award, which I'm going to give you guys this week. Right. You get one each. Thank but you, you. Actually, you don't. You've got to share one. Thank you. But you've just got to imagine it's two. Thanks, Bambi. Thank you. You're welcome, guys. Thank you. I'll put that with my other, other you awards. Don't have, you don't have awards. Um, but next week, I'll, I'll come I'll come with another impression. No. Uh, in fact, really? In, in fact, yeah. Let, in fact, make we'll make it a segment. Let's make it a segment. C- can uh, can we request impressions? Or if there's anybody out there, um, could they request one? Th- they certainly can. Right. How do people get in contact with us? So if anyone wants to ring up and request an impression from Morgan Fantastic... Uh, which is obviously going to be a lifelong dream for you. Um, You can basically go to the website, which is cvfm.org.uk. And there's a link for calling? A a link for calling into the show. You can call into the show, you can have a little chat with us, and you can request an impression. That's amazing. Would do you have any requests that you'd like to do now, just for an example of how it would work? Um, You've already mentioned him. Um, How about Bobby Davro? Bobby Davro. Yeah. Um, I like Bobby Davro, you know. Yeah. Right. Okay. You ready? Yeah. What, what, can you just give me a background? You have no story? idea who. Bobby no, I know is, what he yeah. looks like. I can't remember what he did. Can you just give me an idea of like a show he did or something like Doctor that? Doctor Who, Bobby Davros. Right. <laughs> okay. Shall I do it? Yeah. Yeah. This, please. Okay. Exterminate. No. 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 It was good that it, it wasn't. That was Bobby Davros. Hmm. No. To be fair, it was actually far superior to your previous one. Better than the it, it was a little bit. Shall funny. I put that in the yeah. show? Yeah, stick it in the show. Yeah. yeah. When we actually do it. If you, if you, this, you, is, you a, a this is just a pre-record. Got a pen, pen yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah, you just, that. just write that down. Write what down? T- put it in the show. Yeah. Put it. In <laughs> put, put. Yeah. Put yeah, it. Write put, it down. That's it. Put. Put. It. In. In. The, the show. show. Yep, yeah, brilliant. Cool. Right, that's sorted. Good, good, good. Right, um, I'm going to play a song. Okay. What oh, we, yeah. What are we going to have? Um, I'm going to play, going back off what the guys from the last show has just done, I'm going to play a little bit of Tenacious D. Oh, ooh, is it safe? It's safe, I've checked. Is it, um, is it not like last week's? There's no swears. Can we just um, tell tell people that um, no, that's that swears remember. was an was an accident apparently, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> no, no one pre-checked that song, did they? No, no. Apparently, <coughs> okay. Nobody. I've apologised. Nobody pre-checked the songs last week, did Does they? Anyone pre-check the songs this week? Nah. Okay, no. we'll risk it for a biscuit. We shall. Here we, we go. This is Tenacious D with Wonderbird. I want a biscuit. Helen Daniels, yeah, from Neighbours. Yeah. yeah, she was. She gr- was. She was great. She was, wasn't she? She looked a bit like my nana. No, I think that's why I liked her so much. What your nana or Helen? Both. What was Helen's real name? Nana, wasn't it? Nana. Yeah. Hel- <laughs> Helen. <laughs> Helena Bonham. Nana. Nana Herod. <laughs> Hel- Helena Bonham. Nana. <laughs> <laughs> uh, welcome back. That was Tenacious D with Wonder Boy, and I love that song. It's a lovely track. Yes, it is. So, people can get hold of us. Yep. Um, they can give us an old hashtag, hashtag on the, on the hashtag. Twitter, which is hashtag Daft Hour. Oh. Or you can you can do that, that at Daft Hour, I believe. Yeah, That's our it. Twitter is at Daft Hour. Yeah. You can also phone in. Now, I th- believe the number is uh, 01642 688 That's... Mm. That sounds about right. That sounds good. I was just doing the thing where you repeat it. That's... Oh, oh that's uh, Owen 642 688 104. Oh, yeah. The FM, the Daft Hour. The Daft Hour. The Daft Hour. Daft? <laughs> daft? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, are we ever going to rehearse our show? No, no, oh, oh, that's good. I'm glad. I haven't got time. I'm too busy on tour. You're not on tour. I am. I You're need not. to have a word with your tour manager <laughs> about this. It's well, him though, isn't it? Then me and you will have a good conversation. Right, I'll send you my number. <laughs> what is it? It's oh one six four two <laughs> six double eight one zero four. That's so yeah oh one six four two so pe- six double eight one zero four. Yeah, we're getting good now. I think. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Sure, two, yeah. and we're already back in the game. If That's people it. want to ring up and also ask us a question. Yeah. So uh, a good friend of mine, Claire. Hopefully she's listening. Um, Rick, be- secret friend. Be awkward <laughs> if she's not. If she's not, but if she is, she might <laughs> ring up. So it, or even 
tweet because I don't know how comfortable she will be on the air. Um, but yes, it, it's something she's heard on. We're stealing off other people. It's yeah. off a podcast, and they just answer people's questions. That's fair so enough. Any you do two hours of that, make yeah. life a lot easier. Oh, wouldn't have, wouldn't it? But that was relying on people. And I guess listening. listening. The, t- the <laughs> twist with this one is it, when they're asking questions, we're not very well read, are we? No, no. And, and we're not. We're not going to give it any effort. We'll just come <laughs> up with whatever tripe is in our mouths at that uh, moment. Cool. Mouth tripe. So if anything, we're just taking an old format and making and it making worse. It our making, own. It worse. making it worse. Making it worse. Yeah. 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 Making it worse. Since you know what week. it's time for? What is it What's time that? for? Oh, you just you old your ass. Old your ass. I'm old in it. Oh, it's the news. It's the news. <laughs> I'm so excited. Should I, be? I hope it's great. Rave. News rave. Someone's done a poo on the desk. Oh, sorry. You got any wipes? I oh, know it's just a sticker. <laughs> it's not going to go anywhere. Oh. oh. Morgan Fantastic News. Dobby the elf sneaks outside house. Guy realizes he slept with his girlfriend's mum when he goes to meet her. Teacher in trouble for marking work with the phrase WTF is this. Meat face turns up inside Aldi sausages. Eric Cantona's in space. Ambulance worker mocks patient with sausage. Moped accident leads to nine day hard on. And a hat has been found up a tree in Britain. Oh, you timed that well. <laughs> that, that's probably the the best time I've ever done it, isn't it, really? <laughs> Told you it was seagulls. Um, okay, so what was the first one? Dobby the Elf sneaks outside house. Okay, so what? So this is a viral vi- video right. of someone CCTV footage. CCTV. CVFM. CVFM footage. CVFM. Outside the house, and basically in the middle of the night, it looks like a creature which resembles Dobby the Elf of the Harry Potter. Was it? What was it really? Was it a star No one knows. No one knows. It's really oh, wow. freaky. I love the mystery. So the video comes out and it's this little elf and he does a little dance and he goes out front of the car but the, the scariest thing about it, it oh. comes from outside their house. Oh. So it's still a mystery and it's 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 gone viral. I've not seen it. It's gone viral infection. Right. So have a look at that, listeners. It's really freaky. Blew my mind. Not now, though, because you're listening. Not now, because you're busy, obvs. Um, the next oh, you one, just said obvs. Guy realises he slept with his girlfriend's mum when he goes to meet her. So I've seen internet videos like that. Yeah, so he basically, mm. he, first time he met her, and it was the last person he slept with before he got with his girlfriend. Oh, so it wasn't whilst they were together. No. Right, Oh. So basically, he got with her, his mum, her, her mum, not his mum, her mum, oh. got with a new girl, met her, and it was the mum. That's, that's embarrassing, that. Yeah. Mm. I mean, what have they compared notes? Uh, uh. Oh, I love notes that they wrote each other. Oh, all right, sorry. So next one, teacher in trouble for marking work with the phrase WTF is this. And basically, so the kids got it wrong. WTF, yeah. So, so welcome to Facebook. You, you know what WTF means. Yeah, welcome yeah. to Facebook. And <laughs> welcome <laughs> to Facebook is this. That's what someone told me. Yeah. So what the is this? Um, obviously, that's unprofessional, and the kid's mum kicked right off. Well, I think the teacher's just trying to get down with the kids, really. Yeah, I mean, obviously, yeah. she's getting to their level, using their language that's to it. tell them that she's done some really bad work. Lol. lol. Oh, no, no, because that makes everything okay, doesn't it? Is that yeah. the internet rule? Yes. Put lol after bad news, or yeah. some sarky comment you've made about someone's achievement, yeah. or after anything remotely not nice that you've said. WTF, Uncle Terry's died, lol. Lol. <laughs> Back in the day, lol. Oh, I have an Uncle Terry. Dear, yeah. not now you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> lol. lol. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Back in the day, lol used to mean lots of love. Yeah. Back in the original internet. Yeah. Internet yeah. one. Internet one. We're yeah. in the sequel, aren't we? We are, oh, yeah. yeah. Back in the 80s, it used to mean Lucy of. Um, Lucite. Yes. Lucy or Lucite, yeah. No, Lucy's Oriflame uh, legs. <laughs> I, I, are you feeling you know, Oriflame? What's an aura flame? What is an aura flame? Uh, is it, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I've just heard that word before and it reminds me of the 80s. Is, have it? you just heard it when you just said it? No, because I just had a bit of like a weird nostalgasm just now. <laughs> I remember something partially. Yeah, aura flame. It oh. wasn't it like, uh, you know, like you get the little plastic tubs and stuff, you know, what's it called? Um, Tupperware. Tupperware. It's something Tupperware. like that, wasn't it? Aura flame. It's a, it's a, it's a, a makeup one. I think it might be makeup. Is it makeup? Why don't you tell us? 
Listeners. Uh, uh, yeah, tell us, listeners. You've got a laptop. Look it up. What is Oriflame? It, it, the laptop what is, is Oriflame? Oh, tell oh. us. Uh, what, what is Oriflame? What is it? Because <laughs> UTF is this, you <laughs> lol. <laughs> um, that was that's an interesting story. Yeah, thanks. Uh, next one, meat face turns up inside Aldi sausages. So just before we move on, you said thanks because it was an interesting story. You didn't um, make the interesting story. You <laughs> just stole it of someone. No, else. I found it. You found it. Yeah, but and don't take thanks. No, I should get credit for finding it. No, no, did you no. find it? No, I didn't look though, did I? No, exactly. So meat face turns up inside Al- Aldi sausages. This isn't one of those things where it's by accident. The worker who's molded the sausage together put a face in put it. the face in it on purpose. That's amazing. Amazing. However, wow. I'll d- obviously they tweeted this out and said, "Look, Tweet. I've got, s- I've got the face of my sausage, right?" <laughs> and um, that's a weird font. Aldi responded saying, um, had a face in my "We'll sausage. give you, we'll give you a refund, which was ninety-one p for the pack of bangers, <laughs> 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 right?" And they've offered the refund, but the the people who um, obviously bought them said, "Don't worry, it made us smile." Yeah, don't oh. worry. But I will have the ninety-one p because you're not turning that down, are you? Well, oh, I'll just have another pack of sausages, please. Oh, well, it's all Bantons. Especially for the bangers. Pack of bangers. <laughs> Eric, Eric Cantona's in space. Why? What's he in space for, like? What's he doing? He's promoting Cronenberg. In and space? In space. Who, too? Uh, uh, anyone who's watching. Anyone who's uh, in so, space. <laughs> yeah. So... He might just be waiting, like, on a little space bench. Yeah. Uh, Carlsberg. Was it Carlsberg, did you say? Cronenberg. Oh, Cronenberg. There sorry. are other beverages available. No, there aren't. No, no. Look, if he's it. gone to space, and that's all he's got. <laughs> that's all he has, <laughs> isn't it? That's all he's got, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Silly man. Um, this is quite a... It's, it was funny when I watched it, but also, in hindsight, quite a little bit bad. An ambulance worker mocks patient with sausage, and this is in Romania. Is it a face sausage? <laughs> For that, he won... Pee pack of bangers. Pack of bangers. <laughs> pack of bangers. Um, so basically, in Romania, this person was passed out in an ambulance. Oh, dear. And the, they were just hitting this patient with the sausage. And right. Stone filmed it. And then to make it worse, he filmed himself and posted it online. So the guy who's getting hit filmed himself, or the guy No, the guy who was hit was passed out. Oh. And the yes, ambulance driver who should be treating this person is just hitting him in the face with a, a sausage. I don't understand. I think it's funny going to the face, on the face. A real turn up for the books there to have somebody who was passed out but also like taking a selfie. <laughs> <laughs> like, what has the world come to? Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's social media over health. Um, and basically, um, well, he, he put, stupidly posted it online, so was fired. Well, silly Billy. Yeah. You should <laughs> never put anything online that jeopardises your job. Especially only when fools it, would do that. Only, especially when it mocks people with sausages. Yeah, I mean, th- th- You're people, asking for people with sausages is a cause dear to my heart. Yeah, well, sausage mockery is, 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 is a, not funny. It's a bad it? thing, isn't it? It is. Yeah. It's a bad thing. We should ban sausage mockery. We should ban the banger. Bang the banger. Bang the banger. <laughs> bang the banger. <laughs> we Face on Fly it. the banner. Bang the banger. <laughs> For 91p. For 91p. For 91p. 91 pence could get you a lot in my day. Back of bangers. Moped accident leads to nine day hard on. Right, you've got to you. really like accidents. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Sounds like a Cronenberg film already. So basically, like a, thir- a 35 year old British man had a grade four, apparently there's grades. Oh, I've heard about these. Erections. Yeah. And it's the strongest type of erection you can a get. Gra- <laughs> yeah, I'm, I've got two, I'm number two now. Right right two. Yeah. <laughs> I'm about a one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm not even on I've the got, scale. <laughs> actually, in the moment, I've got half a dafty. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, for nine days, so basically he was in an accident and it bruised his scrotum. Oh. And because of all the blood... Uh, and the ah, bruise going to that area it, it just made him have a, a grade 4 erection ow no, ow, ow ow how did it happen ow, ow. it just crashed alright the most impressive thing is that there is a grade system yes, yes. like you don't see like that a hurricane or an earthquake yeah. or a, yeah any kind of natural disaster and erections yeah. you, you don't see these warnings on the, the, the that would make the weather more interesting wouldn't it <laughs> again your house there's a grade 4 erection on the loose <laughs> mm. Well, there you go. Yeah. And the last one was an actual headline on a news, a local newspaper. I'm not sure where, but it was something in Wales, I believe. So it was local to them, not us. It was us. local to them, right. not to us. But it was basically, the headline was, Woman Finds Hat in a Tree. <laughs> That's all the headline was. And the story was, a hat has been found up a tree in Britain. They classified themselves as the whole of Britain. Uh, it was woolly head garment. It was red and it had a bobble. And that's all the, he- that's all the news was. That was news. Yeah. Wow. Woman finds hat in a tree. 
It might be in the tree's hat. It might have been. Well, it might no one have, else did. It that. might have had it as a little sack. Can't presume it's not the hat's tree. Or the tree's hat. <laughs> or the hat's tree. Or the hat's tree. It might have been the hat's tree. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No one thought of that, did Somebody it? took the hat away from the tree. Yeah. And now what's happened? Well, you've got a bigger news story, that's what you've got. They've opened up a can of worms, a whole new can, can of, of worms. Can of worms. Right, and that was that. Yeah. Morgan Fantastic News. Oh, right. Um, so, uh, where do we go from here? Um, I can quickly go to Unusual Animal Friends and then we'll go to a song if you'd like. Yeah, um, or would actually... You like to, have you got something up your sleeve? No, I'm, I haven't got sleeves. Okay. Um, and nothing up it. I haven't got anything up anywhere. I don't believe you. Not right now. Thank you You're going to have to much. give me some more time. Um, but I will say, uh, for future uh, reference, when you're doing Unusual Animal Friends, mm. yeah. mm. can you bring them in? Yeah. <laughs> I would like that. <laughs> I think that's a good idea. Wow. That would be nice. um, yeah. How about whatever story I do, yeah. you have to then re- <laughs> 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 You have to then. <laughs> I can't when you pull a business out. That kind Sorry. Of, you have to then reenact the whole story again, but you two as them animals. Well, don't tell the listeners that. Well, we just decided the segment. <laughs> yeah, but we, you, know, you spoke the illusion that we're going to get animals in the. Uh, in yeah, the that's an animal. Yeah. I know. We yeah. are in a doghouse, aren't we, today? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, what have you still? Yeah. No, we're just in a doghouse. Yeah. Oh. But in, in Silent Hill, from Silent Hill, <laughs> Danny's brother. <laughs> Benny Hill. And use your animal friends. This week. Yeah. So that there was a dinosaur called Robert the Dino. Don't you have a theme for this? We do, but it's not here. Oh, my So word. it may have been on your own. Holy moly. Oh. So there was a dinosaur called Robert the Dino. Yeah, do an impression. It could have been a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> and a seagull called Seagull Pacino. <laughs> <laughs> Pacino was a n- notorious crime boss. <laughs> he was known to be brutal. Right. Robert was a young immigrant who seeked work and got mixed up in a life of crime. Oh. Give me my chips. Seagal took Robert under his wing. Hey. Right. And they still run rampant in the streets of America today. <laughs> <laughs> and that was unusual animal friend. <laughs> what do you reckon? Um, I reckon. Not believable, yeah. actually, if I can just jump straight in there with... I don't think that's believable. Well, it's a true story. I found it on Tinternet. Is it true, really, Morgan? Yes. Is, is it really on the internet true? It's all true. Is it? Have have you, I proved it and that. Have you, have you read proof? the internet? Yeah, from from the beginning to the end. What is the end of the internet? Full full st- st- the usual full animal friends. <laughs> <It's laughs> Did they put is. the full stop at the end of the internet? Yeah. So, are you going to reenact that? <coughs> right, so well, I'll be the seagull then. You're Seagull Pacino, yeah. and I am Rubber Dino. Dina- Dina- okay, waiting. So, so off you pop. You listen to me. I've had a life of crime. What animal are you? I'm a dinosaur. Oh, you the- goddamn dinosaurs, come in here and try not mess me up. Trying to muscle in on my patch. Or I'll tell you something. You're going home. I'm going to send you home on the body bag. <laughs> I'm going to send you home on the body bag. Is that all right? Is that That's great. I can't. So that's my impression. I mean, I, actually, just for the purpose of the listeners, uh, uh, the, you did a very good impression of a <laughs> frightened dinosaur. Yeah, I genuinely <laughs> I had no idea what was going on. What you should have done is, is done the Dilophosaurus thing and done the spitter. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, Jurassic Park. <laughs> I'm more apt to... To do the the fat guy going ah ah ah, <laughs> <laughs> you didn't get it right. Ah, ah, didn't ah, say ah, the magic ah. word. Dennis Nedry, I believe he's yeah, called, Dennis played, played by the actor Wayne Knight. Wayne Knight, is he alive? Uh, yes. Oh, not after he got spat at though. Well, I, I thought he died in the in film. the film. That's yeah, he died. Film. This is the real life. in real life. He is. This an is actor. the real life in Silent Hill. So you you have to do your Robin <laughs> to da- to die or no no I, I I can't. No, he did. That I was did. it. He no. was just I looking was frightened. Yeah. You're a bit intimidated because I did a good job. You can't possibly follow my brain. Seagull! You can't be intimidated by a seagull! Lovely. Great stuff. <laughs> um, 
No calls as of yet, but... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't people want to join in? <laughs> join us here at Daft Hour. What's wrong on with On Twitter on that Daft Hour. And on that thing that we said, what you call in. That was phone professional, number. wasn't it? You, you mean the phone number? Yeah, I'm going to play a track. Can you remember what the phone number is, though? Yeah, it's 01642... 688104. Or you can... That's... 01642 688104. Sorry, I didn't know you were doing the whole that's thing. Or you can go on... 01642. You said that. Yeah, or you can go on cvfm.org.uk and call in that way. Okay. Well, you can call in via our website. Yeah, it's click the link and it connects somehow. Is like it? on your phone. Oh, what's, what's that? that? What's that wonderful tune you're playing on a, on a laggy band? I'm playing a little tune on, on a laggy band. band. Ooh, I'm playing a little tune on a laggy band. I'm playing a little tune on a laggy band. It's getting higher and higher. Oh, it's and just now. <laughs> <laughs> right. For some reason, Jordy. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, uh, Jordy. Well, right. <laughs> snap. <laughs> right, I'm going to play a song. Please do. I'm going to play... Hocus Pocus by Focus. Hocus Pocus by Focus. Get it on for us, please. Ooh. I can't wait. You should do. We are. Hello. I'm Bianca of EastEnders. And this is the Daft Hour. What are you are listening to? Um... So, a fictional character from Australian soap, uh, she was portrayed by Anne Haddy. Oh, Haddy. Haddy Following yeah. the death of Jim Robinson in 1993, she remained the only original character left in the series until her own death. 97? 1997? Yeah. That's correct. And that makes her the, the second longest serving original character after her grandson, Paul. 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 Yeah, that, that's how she used to say it, isn't it? Hey, Paul. Oh, no, that's EastEnders. Hey, Paul. That's when she was in EastEnders. Oh, right, sorry. Yeah, yeah she appeared in 1,656 episodes, and... I've seen them all. After her death, she was pressed in a book and used as a kite at festivals. Oh, the, the Daniels kite. Yes, yes the just, Helen Daniels oh, kite. Yeah, you could fly that and have such fun. Oh, and flying kites that look like, like old lady. But not only look like, but actually are ah, uh, Helen yeah. Daniels. Helen Daniels also, from the telly. Also, White was a surname at one point. That's correct, yes. Guys, we're, up, we're back. Mm. Oh, right. Hello. Hi. You're listening to the Daft Hour on CVFM. <laughs> <laughs> that was Hocus Pocus by Focus. It's a good, it's a good, <laughs> isn't it? It is a good Hocus Pocus battle. Yeah. You better believe it. Yeah. Are there any other songs that are amusingly like that? Oh, 1642-688-104. That's, oh, 1642-688-104. And basically, yeah, ring up, ask for impressions off Morgan Fantastic and any questions and that. Just ask for the questions. Yeah, please. just the questions. No. But unfortunately, I've got a little bit of... Uh, it's a bit of breaking news. Oh. It's the tr Yeah? It, it's the traffic. <laughs> oh. Ah. Right. Go for it. And now, traffic news with Bambi Rashid on our traffic update. Hi, I'm Bambi Rashid and here's your traffic update. Don't go down the M1 today cause you will be late. That's because there is an overturned lorry there There's debris all over the place and it gives you quite a scare So be careful not to go down there today The roads are looking pretty naff, they're looking pretty gay That's the traffic update just for now for you and I I'll be back in half an hour, see you then, bye bye Daft Hour. <sighs> and that was the traffic. It was. It's, Thank um, you. It's, yeah, it's traffic out there. Mm. It's all going on. I've been in traffic before. Have you? Mm. I read about that. Yeah. It was in the national papers, wasn't it? It was in the Guardian. Yeah. yeah, um, yeah. The headline was, Herod has horrible time in, in heavy the... traffic. That's right, yeah. Um, oh, oh, I, I heard heavy man stops traffic. Wow. Yeah, that was in the sun. 
Yeah, the sun, the sun go a little lower, don't they? Yeah. yeah. They, they go for the, the, the big boned. Well, yeah. in fact, it said heavy man mistaken as heavy vehicle stop traffic. Yeah, well, the Daily Mail said whale buggers truck. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer the Daily Mail one to me. Uh, oh, I love the Daily Mail. Yeah. They're I my get, favourite. I, I get it delivered every single day. <laughs> yes, by a beautiful white swan. <laughs> to my lighthouse. <laughs> <laughs> so now we have things BBC rejected by our one and only will traffic man traffic <laughs> stopping <laughs> will will traffic stopper uh, Elvis Herod. Hello, my name's Elvis Herod. Hi, hi. Welcome to the BBC rejection aspect of this show on the Daft Hour series. One six four two six eight eight one zero four. That's one six four two six eight eight one zero four. What did I tell you? Sorry. <coughs> he did. He didn't. I think he did that by accident. I would have dribbled otherwise. Right. So the BBC rejection. Uh, there's something I wrote in a letter or an email to the BBC, and it was uh, for a. It was called SOAP, mm -hmm. capital letters S O A P. Yeah. And it's a, a series of episodes in the format of a television soap made for the attention of the younger generation. Who is it? So yes, you've got like kids today. We're used to skipping past, fast-forwarding and scrolling through all of the excrement on social media. Yeah, that's true. And so to make make them a television soap that would appeal to their sort of short attention span, in each episode of Soap, yeah. we see a small segment of a scene, and then it ends. So, for example, when I sent this idea to the, B idea to the BBC, I used the example of EastEnders. Um, all right, yeah. The EastEnders characters, Doc Cotton, www.doccotton.com, and Ian Beale, www.ianbeale.freemail forward slash just eat dot beals on wheels <laughs> dot co dot uk. And the scene opens in the laundrette, and Dot sits smoking a fag, and Ian walks in with a basket of washing. Boom! <clears throat> it ends there. <clears throat> you know the EastEnders drumbeat? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> well, in soap, in each episode of soap, there's just one. <clears throat> And it ends. <clears throat> so, for example, the, sec I like that. the second episode of Soap involves Ian walking over to the washing machine and puts his basket down on the bench <laughs> as Dot uh, exhales some of her cigarette smoke. Oh, she loves it. <clears throat> and that's the it end finishes. of that one. <laughs> how long are these? Uh, about uh, two seconds. It's, it's quite short, you, aren't yeah, they? I'd say they're about two seconds right. per episode. And in this way, you stupid brain dead screen flickers can uh, spend more time checking your Instagram. I think you'd get more ratings. Yeah, you don't have to worry about Dot and Ian and if they really do get the washing done. Mm. And the omnibus would only be ten seconds long? Yeah, exactly, yeah. I like it. <coughs> I, that, I like that, yeah. Uh, did they respond? No. They didn't? No, I got nothing back from that. So that was a definite rejection, wasn't it? It was a definite, yeah, of course it was. I think they rejected that. I think they did. Is there any particular reason you think why? Yeah, because they think it's stupid, and they think, oh, what is the point of that? No one would like that at the BBC, because it's not about someone in a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what, what they like, isn't it? Yeah, but could you not have incorporated that into your Well, soap? OK, listen to this scene again. We're in the laundrette. Yeah. <laughs> Dot mm. is smoking... A wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> and Ian crawls in with a basket on his head. In a wheelchair. Yeah. And <laughs> he crawls in a wheelchair. Yeah. 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 I think that... I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. know. You, uh, you put me on the spot there. I didn't really I don't know, know why they would reject that. I don't. I honestly don't. <laughs> <laughs> because I think it's a great idea. And well, I obviously. Think, and do you know what? Even if you think, oh, it's a silly idea, it would still be funny, wouldn't it? Of course it would. Oh, should we watch an episode of Soap? Oh, bloody hell, I haven't, si oh, I haven't watched the last four episodes. Oh, that's all right. Well, you could watch a year's, really, in, a, in an hour, couldn't yeah. you? Yeah. You could just get it over and done with as well. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, what would usually take, you know, do you film a scene in EastEnders, it takes you however long. Oh, imagine watching a year's worth what? of EastEnders. One scene, one scene yeah. in the laundrette. And then Doc goes, oh, Ian, <laughs> what are you doing? And he's like, oh, God, they're rushing. <laughs> and then it ends, do you know? Do! <laughs> End. So what's the storyline? Uh, they just want to go and get the washing done. And they're a bit, <laughs> they're a bit in a bit of a kerfuffle over it all. <laughs> it sounds like it, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds like Dot's having a right fat panic. Oh, yeah, Dot's fat panic. That would be the follow-up. It's to so watch it next episode. Uh, oh, do you know what? I actually had them all written out. I've only written the, the could first you, two. Could you maybe 
for instance, off the top of your Elaborate. genius head, yeah. uh, just come up with some now. Yeah, okay. Just, just, well, let's, let's just change. in case I, in the future, work at the BBC, yeah. and I might want to commission this. You could put in a good word for me. Oh, I could 100%, yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, so uh, we're, in, we're down the Vic, right? It's not EastEnders, I'm just using that as an example. But we're right. down the Vic, and um, who's in EastEnders? Uh, Phil. Phil. Phil Mitchell. Yeah, we'll go with that. Phil comes in and he's like... <coughs> <laughs> I actually failed to mention the opening music to it. It does actually start with the music, but it, it's, uh, it goes on a, 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 a minor key. So, right, so it goes... Or is it just that, that little bit? Yeah, just that. So it's a little bit, oh, mysterious. What's going to happen? Rather than, you know, anyone can fall in love. It's all happy. No, not this time. This time you're getting just a couple of seconds or something. Mm hmm and you don't even know what's going on, and by the time you just about thought, oh, what's going to happen here? It ends, doof, in your face, move on, next show, please, let's have a show about, you know, Helen Daniels' uh, 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 dog festival. I've got some interesting facts about right. EastEnders. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, to date, there has been 5,926 episodes Jeez, of right EastEnders. Ways. Now, each of them at half an hour long would take 2,963 hours to watch. However, your 10-second revision yes. version of it would only take 592.6 hours. Exactly. Do you know what I'd prefer? Better? What? Is? Bacon. Yeah. You s you've saved time there, haven't you, by doing that? <coughs> Lots of time. You can get more done. Like, like for oh, instance... Man, I binge watch EastEnders the other day. Or soap, as it would be called. Yeah. But, like, for instance... You have all that free time. You could do your own washing. <laughs> you and could do your own you washing while watching it on your phone. And you could also cough like Phil Mitchell. You could do all them things <clears throat> like they do in soap. Exactly. That's perfect. Well, I'm going to give you a round of applause. Thank you. That's, um, for that. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. I think we all had a minor. We all had a round. I just of went away pause. for a bit there. Yeah. Minor pause. Yeah. So. Have you got any requests of stuff you want to play? That's some music, I guess. Yeah. Is there any song? I can't <laughs> rightly remember what I've what chosen. What I've You, um, Terrorvision Tequila. Yeah, let's play that. And let's have some. Yep. Oh, great idea. <coughs> is it playing? No. I can't help but notice it's not, is it? I'm going to be sick. Tequila! <laughs> it is now. <laughs> I'm going to be sick. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah I, I know that I've had a few shots of the tequila, but I really, I really I actually do like Helen Daniels. Drink? I didn't actually think he was going to drink during the song. The song tequila, you got to have, you got to have a drink the pretty much of evolved. tequila when you uh, did the song was playing. Oh, it has Sean Cruz in the video. Remember him? Shawnee Show. Do, 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 do. Are you all Shawnee right? Shawnee Show. Yeah. I, I, Bambi, Bambi. Yeah. Chill, chill out. Calm down this session. Yeah. Because I don't know. No, no. Uh, uh, yeah, what's the key? Uh, it makes me happy. Judith. All right, chill out. I love the key. Chill out. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. I love the key. Yeah. 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 Otherwise, you're going to get out. Bambi, go into this bag. Go into this bag. Yeah. That's better. Yeah, man, she's got to How sleep. did you get so drunk she's in a three-minute song? Sure, then. The tequila! Oh, oh, he's got second wind. Uh, that was tequila on. by Terrorvision, and right now we're looking at a Terrorvision. Yes, it is a terrible vision yeah. of a drunk man. Of a drunk man. Who's necked pretty much an entire bottle. He should be dead. During during the song. Um, through his eyeball. Right, I tell you what, um, I'll... I'll put this bottle of water over him. Oh, hold on. Yeah, splash that. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh. Oh, he's, he's wet himself. Oh, that's all right. He'll be fine. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah. Yeah, you sorry. Okay? Yeah, thanks. Yeah. 
Are you I'd, back? Yeah. yeah. If that's his reset button. You have to throw water over him and, and slap, slap him across. Him. Are you where yeah. you've piddled? Oh. Yeah, you've done a bit of wet in the studio, but that's all right. Sorry, Idris. I'm sorry about we'll that. We'll get the mop. Yeah. So, anyway, we're back at the Daft Tower, and um, it's now time for... Ooh, I like that. Of the week. Okay, you, you've... No, that's good. <laughs> it's time for what? I like that of the week. Okay, it's not what I've chosen, though. <laughs> but, again... Like last week, uh, you could choose either dislike or I like that of the week. Well, I'm it just happened to be that I had that I like that right, of the week okay. on there. So. Whatever so you've brought. Whatever you've brought, you well, choose. Whatever's in your fanny pack. <laughs> it's a so, dislike this so, week. Do you, would you like to start then? Yeah, I'm going to. Go on. on then. Because I dislike pretending that I'm listening to people uh, talk when they're actually talking at me. When actually what I'm thinking about is anything else other than what they are saying. Mm-hmm. And I We've came noticed. up with this... When we were in the pub talking before the show, but when me and you were in yeah, the pub, yeah, Did and you, you were just yabbering on so you were listening about to things that were important to you, you were listening to had to nothing to do with me. I just plain don't care what you're saying. Oh, <laughs> sassy wow. cat! Wow, sassy cat! You get quite cat. vocal, don't you? After That's a drink, I dislike. <laughs> yeah. I dislike anybody talking at me. It's quite a sassy cat when he's hungover. Isn't Everybody's it? talking at me. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't care. Yeah, I just, just don't care about it. Don't care. It's not important. Yeah. What what you've done for that day, or what you're going to do tomorrow, yeah. or what you think about politics. Do, do you remember anything I was saying? Not a clue, mate. Do no. you ever listen to anyone? No. no. Wow. Yeah. You've changed. You know that. Yeah. You've changed. Truth has been revealed. Yeah. Well. Whatever. Yeah. Fair enough. It's it's not relevant. Oh. Wow. You've baffled my oxygen. Oh my word. Haven't you? You still can't get that one right, can you? Yeah, it, it, we said baffled, baffled my oxen. No, that's not true, though, is it? Because the phrase is you've, baffle you've, my oxygen. No, you've baffled me oxen as though you've stumped me bulls. No, like you've took my breath away, you've baffled my oxygen. Well, that's all right, said. you can use that one if you want. Well, they're doing but, so does the rest of the world. No, they don't. I don't believe so. No. I think you're talking nonsense now. Oh, hold on. <laughs> it's the Daft Hour <laughs> <laughs> on CBFM. <laughs> We don't have to get into some scripts. Oh, I was like, go into it. some brother. Tickle you, tickle me. What do you think about what we've just been saying? I don't care. No, <laughs> or no. Herod, hello. Do you like something or dislike something? I'm afraid I week? dislike modern music this week. Oh, dear. I'm not saying that I hate every new song in the charts. That sounds like it. Just once in a while, you know, well, once in a while there's a song I enjoy oh. uh, or a song that gets me foot tapping. But the majority of music in the mainstream... Uh, uh, in the mainstream is, is a massive steaming pile of feces oh. you hear these uh, so called singers drowning in auto tune oh it is awful yeah. isn't it flailing around trying to escape and passing it off as dancing pop music is the equivalent of fast food it's made for the consumption of idiots who have this music funneled into the workplace and places of recreation like pubs and such right uh, like fast food it's not very good for you but you become addicted to it like the sheep that you are and they have this formulaic, standard, safe crap forced upon them all day, every day, in the car, on television, etc. I mean, if you watch MTV today, you'll notice that it's, um, it's very different to how MTV was in the early days. Like today, MTV is all about like Kardashians, image, and having a huge ass, isn't it? It's a nice analogy. Music has turned into, into, a, into a big bottom, and it's pooing <laughs> all of this awful music <laughs> into your head, and you love it. I'm listening yeah. now, you know. No, you think are you he, love are it. Are you actually paying attention? Yeah. <laughs> because you've been told that you love it, you see. And, I mean, there is good music out there, and although it's all, you know, particular to an individual's taste, you can, you can find it if you try. But don't bother, eh? Otherwise, I won't have anyone to hate. Um, I actually wrote a song about it the other day, which I'll read to you now as a poem. I'll, I'll have to. There, there is some swears, but I have t- taken them out and replaced them with other words. What? That's good. Good. Uh, I'll be very quick, but it goes like this, and I'm going to make this into a song um, where I'm going to use some of my old music as the music for it. Thereby, therein lies the irony that I'm just using a formula. <laughs> 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 so <I'm sorry. laughs> right. Um, <laughs> goes like this. <laughs> it's formulaic, it's the same, never different. It's invariable and easy to compose. It's algorithmic, it's unoriginal, rarely dissonant. 
It is disposable and mostly really blows. But they feed it to you. They breed it for you. And mediocrity and vapidity are your best friends again. It's homogenous. It could astonish us. But you're all too busy. You're all too dizzy to look up from the app upon your phone as you are right now. <laughs> to even notice that you are alone. You're busy putting filters on your face to notice the rest of the human race. Your Snapchat, Instagram and the Facebooks. And all your effing music effing sucks. The scaly phallus of a demon deep in the bowels <laughs> of hell. You are the social media sheep. Oh, I don't care. But I can't say I'm glad. You won't hear the rest of this until after the ads. McDonald's burgers, pseudocreme, Barclay card, iPhone, capitalism all over my breasts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, are you done? Fantastic. I'm finished. Poetry gets clicks. Of course it does. That's 35 quid each, by the way, for that. What? What? I have to pay? £35 each for that. Oh, I didn't listen. I, no, I wasn't paying any attention. As you could tell, Just I was actually on an app on my phone. You were. <laughs> <laughs> what, what app were you on? I was looking at the Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> is it to do with work? Did someone no, tweet it's you? to do with the show. No, this, this is work. Yeah. I know we don't get paid. No, it's not work. This is fun. Is it? 35 quid, though. Okay. Yeah. Uh, can pounds. I pay you in uh, noises? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, all right, go on. Over time. I'll do one for you now, and I'll do... Yeah, the, just do as a quick one. Five Can I, like, have a short, sharp bleat? Okay. Meh! That'll do. And are you going to pay me in money or noises? Uh, noises, what would you like? Um, can you make a really deep rumble uh, and then end it in some kind of uh, orgasmic scream? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Let's see if I can <laughs> do that. Let's go oh, for it. You got a short, sharp bleat, and I get this. You have to do the really deep rumble that ends in a, in a you know, a huge, happy scream. <laughs> <laughs> is that, is that, that's fine that does, that's all yeah. I get yeah cool you, yeah okay yeah so you've done about a fiver's worth each oh thing. that's more than oh really five. I thought it was just a pa- like no, one that's about one a fiver's worth excellent so we've got 30 quid to work off yeah so we We'll, we'll do that. Yeah, that's fine. We'll Thanks, set, guys. We'll set, I really appreciate it. Set up a payment way. plan, yeah. Because, yeah. like, I'm really struggling in the poetry world at the moment. Yeah. Can tell. Sorry? Nothing. Oh, right. Um, so, mine this week is... I've got a like of the week. Oh, okay. Oh. And mine is um, Sir Ian McKellen. Oh. oh. Reason being is... Um, I met him. You did? And this is actually not a lie. I met him on Sunday night. Yeah. Um, and I actually went to see him. Yeah, round his house. Yeah, you went him down the docks, and then we we're, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're back to his. This is his quickly for, for a whopper. Things happened. You <laughs> shall not bass. <laughs> you shall not bass. Yeah, d- you shall not be a fish. Yes. Yeah. Don't. don't and don't, don't uh, no, I actually met him. He did a show, mm. and it was about his life. Did some Shakespeare stuff, and also um, just it was just a, a good stage show mm. about how his love for theatre. Brilliant. Right. So, and the importance of keeping theatres around. And in the very, round. In the round. And he was a very charming, lovely bloke. However, in the interval, I came back to my seat and he was just there in front of me. Did he show you his proscenium arch? <laughs> he showed me his Gandalf the Grey. Did he? <laughs> yeah. And then his Gandalf <laughs> the White. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so, um, and he just, he said to me, he went, um, can you hear it okay? And I went, yeah. And he went, good. Was it over your shoulder as well, like from behind? Yeah. Can you hear it Can okay? you hear it okay? <laughs> and I went, yeah. And he went, good. good. Yeah. And he walked off, and he walked back on, just walked back on the stage and started the second act. Brilliant. And then after the show, I was walking out, and he was stood there, and he was taking, like, collections, because all the money from the show, the brochure, <coughs> and uh, the programme, sorry, and any collection... He give back to the theatre. Ah, oh, brilliant. And 80-year-old bloke running around like he was is fantastic. And uh, he was shaking people's hands, and he came out, and he shook my hand, and he went, uh, oh, good to see you. And I was thinking, what, since the interval? Mm. Uh, like, when yeah. does he mean? Since last time, yeah. And I panicked, so I didn't really know what to say. Cause was it a fat panic, or just it, a standard it was, panic? It was a standard panic. Right. It was more of a, I don't know what to say, panic. Oh, rather than so where's the just went, yeah. oh, it was good, that. <laughs> is that what you say? Genuinely. Oh, it was good that, mate. It was good that, mate. Nice one, Ian. How are Ian? <laughs> I went, Ian, proper good that, mate. Proper mint that, mate. Proper mint that. Particularly like the bit where you pulled your Gandalf sword out. 
Which is actually a thing he did. Yeah, I'll bet. Yeah, yeah. And his Gandalf hat. And his Gandalf hat. Brilliant. And played with the kids. And um, I shook his hand, said that, and he went, oh, good. Did the same thing again. Yeah, good. And I, I walked out. So I met Ian McKellen twice, Sir Ian McKellen. Yes, yeah, don't forget the Sir. I met him twice on Sunday. Wow. And he doesn't remember either. <coughs> and no, that's something you yourself. like. I liked it. Yeah. I enjoyed the moment. Hey, I, I have to say I wasn't there, but I like that too. Do you? I do. I really like it. You, you like the fact that I enjoyed that? I, I, I'm happy for you. Oh, I am. Thanks. I, can't, I am a little bit jealous. So I've been going around all my mates saying, so me and Ian, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, we were out the other night. We were out the yeah. other night at the theatre. <laughs> Having a right laugh. Having a right laugh. Talking about taking the mick out the sound guys. Yeah. That yeah. He couldn't hear the show and that. And uh, and then take the mick about the fact that all this money he collected and said it was going to the theatre. It's actually going to us and the town. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take off your shirt and I'll tell you all about it. <laughs> Hello, little hobbits. So, um, yeah, that happened. <laughs> I was there. No, you weren't. Yeah, you were there, weren't I you? Was there. you did, go did you meet him, though? I didn't, no. No, because I'm his favourite, you, Anna. Weren't you the techie, though? Oh yeah, you yeah. did. You did the tech for the show. Didn't if I you? turn up, I tech. Yeah, <laughs> that's Can't always the case. Turn up, I tech show. It is. I was at a, a mate's wedding and I tech the wedding. Yeah. yeah. Techie yeah. Rick, Techie Rick, he's gonna be here in a bit. Techie Rick, Techie Rick. Oh, it makes him sick. <laughs> <laughs> is that theme tune come on every time he enters the room? Uh, mainly, yeah. Yeah. I, I've tried to put this elastic band back together and it hasn't really. Let's see. Is it not twanging? See how it works. Twanging. Nothing, uh, it's nothing. just dull now, isn't it? Rubbish. Oh, oh, there we go. Techie Rick, Techie Rick. Oh, I like that. Of the week. So well, I actually did the jingle of the show. That was obviously good, uh, there was more um, dislikes than likes, but likes get it. I think. I think likes will win. Is that what won this week? For Ian yeah. McKellen, sir. Ian McKellen, yeah. sir. Do not so. take me as a conjurer of cheap tricks. He used to say, "Fly, you fool! Fly, you fool!" <laughs> no, what was what was the other one? Uh, no, Merlin. <laughs> <laughs> you purple dragons, Merlin. Stop the dragons from getting me, Merlin. This uh, is what uh, you said. Uh, 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 Mim. <laughs> he was good in that. Madam Mim. <laughs> that was him, wasn't it? Madam yeah. Mim in the sword in the storm. The <laughs> was he? Yeah, he was Madam Mim. He was the, anything with the wizards. Him. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's been uh, Dumbledore's. Yeah, he was the Dumbledores, wasn't <laughs> he? he? Was all, all the Dumbledores. The, brother, the brother's Dumbledore. I went, uh, I went down the double Dumbledores for a pint the other day. Did oh, you? yeah, the Dumbledores. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dumbledores. <laughs> <laughs> Did you go in or out the Dumbledores? Oh, I went through the window. <laughs> yes, I did. Yes, I did. I went through the window and I had a hat made of steel. <laughs> and my shoes were mushrooms. <laughs> and my feet turned to kippers. <laughs> Hello, little habit. <laughs> It was raining. <laughs> Would you uh, like to see my one ring? Dude. Oh, come on. I know. You've lowered the tone. I haven't. You, you had one ring to all prove them all. No, I thought you were talking about you. You don't have a ring. Yeah. No, it's sealed. <sighs> With a loving kick. <laughs> <laughs> From Ian McKellen. <laughs> Sir. 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 Ian McKellen. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like to do when I'm trying to think, what's next? <laughs> Ian McKellen! <laughs> it's my thinking noise. Yeah. Shut up, Derek. Let Morgan me Fantastic. Can you just give me a moment to think, yeah, please? Go on, Ian McKellen! Oh, what so, should I have for tea tonight, I wonder? Ian McKellen! Ian McKellen. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we all used to think. You know... They don't work. No. I hope you enjoyed your story. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being serious, they don't work. Fine. So I'm going to put this on. Good. good. Good, 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 good. What are you going to put on? You'll see. Okay. Will we? No, we won't see. We'll hear it. Ian McKellen. You're listening to the Daft Hour, where soup is queen. Why not come on down to Pollard's Pun House? We have puns for every and any occasion. Even if you don't think it needs one, we've got it. We'll tell you it, and you'll listen. Visit Blurt's 
or Proxima Centauri, as you Earthlings know it. We are a red dwarf located about 4.24 light years from your sun. Proxima Centauri! Do you have any questions that can't be answered by friends or family? Or do you need advice on what to wear? Then you should give Jack a call. Oh, hi, Jack. Yes? I hope you can help. I can't decide on what to buy my girlfriend for her birthday. Do you have any advice on that? Jack, mum boy? Okay, thank you, Jack. Yes? Remember, if you don't have the answers, then you don't have Jack. Jack, mum boy! Calls are charged at one million pounds a minute. Right, we'll have no more Biffy Claro in this house. No more Biffy Claro. I told him. That's enough of you. That's enough Biffy Claro. No more Biffy Claro. Biffy Claro. Not one jot. None of it. Biffy Claro. Biffy Biffy Claro. Our normal portion size is just not enough. Do you have a big appetite? Do you have your own gravitational pull? If you answered yes to any of these questions, then you need professional help. Why not roll on down to Bobo's Diner and Soft Play? You can choose from our vast menu of culinary delights, all served on a bed of all the cheese, smothered in cascades of battered gravy and a trough of chips. Why not check out our special offers, including our bottomless pints of syrup with bacon bits and cream. This week only, anyone over 25 stone can eat for free and take home a doggy bag. And remember to enter into our all-you-can-eat Chubby Bubs Tub of Grub contest, held on the last Friday of every week. This week's challenge includes three troughs of chips, half a cow cooked in Bobo's butter sauce served on a trough of chips, three more troughs of chips, a trough of chips, and a life-size statue of Bobo himself made from mincemeat, chocolate, and sweetbreads. All washed down with one gallon of lard and jelly baby smoothie. Third place receives a trough of chips. Second place receives a mobility scooter. And our winner receives a triple heart bypass and our special Bobo badge, which reads, I've eaten more than my body weight in utter muck, and my cholesterol is fairly high. Bobo's Diner and Soft Play on Linthorpe Road, Middlesbrough. You know where it is. Hello, darling. My name's Snoop Dogg. And when I'm in Middlesbrough, I love to listen to CVFM, the daft hour. It tickles my fancy. Oh! Like a chicken on smack. Yeah, well, that's the only option you're left with at that point. Is that there's not a lot more you can do. You can't, you can't call anyone. You can't rely on anyone. There's nothing you can take. There's to, nothing that yeah. can counteract it. <clears throat> exactly. You've just got to ride it. You've got to ride it out. Ride the storm. Like a balloon in the wind. Like a balloon in the wind. Like a balloon in the wind. Um, yeah. Like a balloon in the wind. A likable balloon. A likable balloon. You're a likable balloon. So are you. No, thank you. Together we could be a couple of happy zeppelins. <laughs> happy zeppelins. <laughs> oh, the humanity. I, I think you're more of a blimp. Who yeah. are you? <laughs> <laughs> an intruder. Uh, Out. So, um, you heard some sponsors there? Sponsors there? They were good sponsors, weren't yeah, they? Yeah, you oh, heard yeah. the Dixie Cups Eco Eco, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Yeah, and also yeah. you had... Tears for fears. Everybody wants to rule the world. Not everyone. Like, 
I don't. I uh, do. No, no, I don't want to rule the world. I just want to rule my own little bit of land. I think if somebody else ruled the world, I just want to be involved in HR or something. Yeah, yeah. something a bit more kind of administrative yeah. rather than actual hands-on. I just want to punch in some numbers. Yeah, I mean, that's been your dream forever, hasn't it? Punching numbers. Punching numbers. Because I hate them so much. Yeah, you are a bit numberist. Might save that for another dislike of the week. Yeah, good idea. Punching On a numbers. future episode of... What's the show called? That was nice, wasn't it? It wasn't. Oh, right, okay. It's because I'm tone deaf. So, guys, what would you do if orange really was the new black? (laughs) Like, all your clothes, all your black clothes went orange. Mm -hmm. The night sky went orange. Yeah. Bin bags went orange. That cloth behind you went orange. The telly that's off went orange. Yeah. Your soul went orange. Would an orange be black? No, no. Orange is still orange. But what if everything black went orange? What would you do? I mean, how weird would it be that every single thing in the world yeah. that was black went orange? There's, no, there's some, Black does not exist anymore. But we're not talking just, like, your, your full, solid, 100% black colour. Mm. Because you can have black with different, um, mm. like, uh, tones within it. Mm. Uh, we're talking the whole scale, all of the, the numbers of colour. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, going to turn Can to I have orange. A question? What would you do to it? I have a question. What would you do? Does it include, is it just like items and things you see or would it include like people as well? Every every single thing. Right, okay. Person. Is this like fashion, yeah? No, it's not like fashion. It's, like it's, it's just it's, the whole colour Everything, orange. everything. Just the entire colour. Yeah, what colour. would you do? I mean, well, how would you handle that situation? In some ways, it would feel like the world had gone a little bit, not necessarily inverted, but it would have a similar effect to that. You know, the mm. way everything had just kind of... Or like an inverted image. Like an inverted image. Would, you, but be, orangey. But orangey. would you be aware of the original colour, or is it oh, just, yeah, of course, just like, changed? Of course, no, yeah. Everyone remembers what it was, but you can't possibly describe it anymore, because what the absence of light is... What, what caused it? Oh... I can't even get into that. Something planetary. This is yeah. some sort of All right. planetary okay. well, like off kilter. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you what happened. So it's exactly that. Yeah. So we have arguably eight or nine planets in our solar system. Yeah. yeah. And arguably there is also a tenth. Yeah. So, um, planet Nubi or Nubu? Is it a? Is it an orange? Nubu. Is it a? Ah, is well, it a big orange? No, it's not. Well, this is where the logic would take it, but no, it's it's actually not even spherical. Right. It's cylindrical. Yeah. And it is made entirely from badges. <laughs> <laughs> badges or badges? Yes. Um, it's made from badges of badges. Right. right. So, this, so this planet that uh, does a big loop <laughs> around our solar system and seven others and collecting information on all the beings on, on its journey came too close to our sun yes. and, and Mars yeah. and did a little twinkle tail. You're not undermining your own point here by having a good giggle about it. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> this is what you asked for an explanation. I'm sorry. I didn't prepare yes. for this. No. So this is what you're getting. This is fair. So it did a little yeah. twinkle tail. Yeah. yeah. And <laughs> turned everything black, orange. So, what are you going to do if that happens? Um, what are you going to do? What would you do if this situation happened? This is this is difficult because this is a lot to take in um, for me at the moment. <laughs> um, it's kind of making me think that in the future I might just take a leave out of your book and stop listening to people. <laughs> <laughs> can I can I take a moment to think about it, please? Uh, yeah, you can. Yeah, cool. Ian McCallum. Good moment. Thank you. So what would you do? Um, I don't know, mate. To be honest, you've kind of baffled my oxygen. Oh, my, um, my gosh. And quite frankly, like, I'm not really that big on colours anywhere. Okay, right. Well, if, if I'm honest. Okay. Okay, okay, you can't handle that, that one. No, so what no you... like, red and yellow and all that. I'm not, I'm not interested in You're them. Not. I've never been interested. But it's all orange now, don't worry about it. So what would you do? You can't handle that. What would you do if Tina Turner started calling the shots? <laughs> oh well, <laughs> and and she, oh. and she tried to save the world. I'd, do you, do you know what I'd say? I'd say no, Tina. We don't need another hero. That's what I would do. I would. <laughs> I would. You know what I would do? 
I'd be a, a private dancer, a dancer for money. <laughs> That's what yeah, I would so do. So what would you do? She said, like, she was in charge. Yeah. And she would tell you what to do. She came in here, threw you outside into that horrible weather. Yeah. You'd have oh. to stand up there and say, I can't stand the rain. And yeah. what else could you do? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Not a thing. <laughs> Tina, so, turn it. Do you know what I'd do? Have it all I'd roll her, roll her down the river. That's what I would do. <laughs> Could you just say that again? What What would I do if Tina Turner started, started calling the shots? Calling the shots. <laughs> so she's like, she's not a president, she's not a prime minister, she's not a king or a queen. Right. She just calls the shots. I'd be quite happy because I'm I'm a big fan of Tina Turner. Really. And if she was calling the shots, I would just bow down to her. The, the, just the, so the aura of Tina Turner. Get on with it. But what if she started getting all high and mighty and started doing really silly things? Well, I don't know any like Tina Turner songs at, at the moment so I can't quote anything else. It would be difficult, I think. Well, yeah, so what would you do? Um, I'd probably have a little chat with her first. I'd have a little conversation. And what would you say? Let, let's say I'm Tina. Okay, you pretend to be Tina. Okay, do the... Do the I do can the, do a good okay, impression. Are you ready? Are you ready? I can't do the voice, I can do the dance. Oh, no, you oh, do the dance. Oh, go on then, do the dance for our listeners. Yeah, you do that. Oh, that is spot on, Tina. Oh, if you were here, if you could only yeah, see if this. Only you, yeah, you would that, close your eyes out. Yeah. So, okay, <laughs> I'll be Tina. Right. Yeah, Elvis! Hello, Tina Turner. All right, Elvis. Uh, right, you need to start doing as I tell you, because I'm calling the shots now. Right, what do I do first, Tina? I'd like you to make me a chip butty with extra ketchup, please. Yeah, right, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't like it. I wouldn't like honestly, it. I'd do it. I would do it. I would bow down to her. <clears throat> yeah? Every word. I wouldn't like it if she was calling the shots. I would prefer it if it was a shared thing, so we could take turns, Tina turns. <laughs> Tina <doing> turns. It. <laughs> You know, so if she wants a chip butty one day, and I'll, okay, Tina, I'll make you a chip butty today, and I'll do that for you, and then I do it, and then the following day, all right, my turn now. Okay, let's How try again. I call the let's shots now, Tina. Let's try it again. Okay, here, Elvis. Oh, hello, Tina Turner. Yeah, mate. Will you make me some uh, chip butties, please, mate? Yeah. Um, she's, oh. like, she's like changed this time. Okay, but only if you make me one tomorrow, Tina yeah, Turner. Yeah, no problem. No oh, problem. Wicked. That's a deal. Can we shake on it? Let's shakey, shake, 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 shake. So we flash forward to tomorrow. Okay. And let's see how this right. uh, rolls out. Uh, Tina Turner, are you there? Oh, oh yeah. Cheers, Elvis. I was about that uh, chip butty. Nah, I'm in charge, mate. Oh, you're calling the shots. I you? am. I'm calling the shots. I'm right. Tina Turner. Finish. Pay the, pay the rest of this month's rent, and you're out. Oh, so, um, I didn't mean it. No, sorry. Uh, and that'd be it. I'd be. I'd have her out of there. I'm sorry, Elvis. That's all right, Tina Turner. <sighs> so you wouldn't like it then? No, not really. No. <laughs> <coughs> so what would you do, right? Mm -hmm. Monkey shaved and put us in cages and like with instruments and like. Um, tools and just asked us to perform and make boats. Right. What would you so do? like a Planet of the Apes right. situation? No, 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 it's not like a Planet of the Apes. Take a, take a breath. No, no, what would you do if the monkeys put us in a cage right. or, a, or a, a tank or uh -huh. any other kind of enclosed situation yeah. and made us play music and make boats? What would you do? Monkeys. Monkeys or apes. Any Well, the definition, I think, one has tails and one doesn't and that makes it an ape or a monkey, but e either of the primate type of animals. Yeah. What would you do if they locked us up and made us make boats and music? What would you do? If the, if, so monkeys have put us into cages. And apes. And apes. Or any other kind of enclosed situation. Should, could be, we could all be locked in a big stadium or, or in this right. little room. What and, would you do? And the making make, us play. Make, make music and build boats. Um, yeah, I'd go along with that. You'd go along with that, yeah? Would you? Would yeah. You? Um, to be honest with you, um, only if the leader was Tina Turner. Right. What would you do if I sang out a tune? Would you stand up and walk out with me? What would you do? Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, definitely. Right, okay. I'll be out of there. I've got one question though for you. Yeah. I'll, if I'm honest. Right. Uh, what do you mean? What do you mean? What do I mean? Well, what do you mean? What do you mean? What do I mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? I d genuinely don't know. I don't know what you mean. No. What do you mean though? What do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> None of your stuff's working, mate. <laughs> we're in a loop here. Yeah, we were going to actually play. <laughs> what, what do you, do you mean? mean by Justin Bieber? <laughs> oh, I, I didn't even know that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was just very confused. Uh, give us a second. So, okay. So, like, back to these monkeys. Yeah. So, you've obviously got... In every pack of monkeys, there's obviously seven. You know that, right? Uh, in every pack of monkeys, there's seven monkeys. Yeah. Right. In every pack. What about so, the band? The monkeys, monkey band. Oh, the monkey band. No, I, I'm not banning the monkeys. No, no, the, the actual band, the monkeys. The monkey band. Yes, the men. The men, the monkey band. The men, the monkey band. What about them? No, the men. They didn't. But what? 
What who, about them? Who banned the men? <laughs> the monkeys. The monkeys. Yeah, they locked us up. Right. So in, in in every one there's seven of them. Seven. Um so you've obviously got Monkey One yeah. is in charge. Yeah. Monkey two who would like to be in charge. Yeah. Monkey three, he's not so fussed. Yeah. Monkey four um is uh, an absolute ape. Yeah, but yeah. what do you mean? What oh, do you do what, mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? I have no idea. Buddy. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> hey, you. <laughs> Who? Me? Yes, you. What? What are you listening to? The Daft Hour on CVFM. That's right. <laughs> Not that I'm planning the end of our stint on the radio. Yeah. But it? let's just, for instance, say next week was our last show. Okay, let's it's, just it's not, say that that's not, the case. It's yes. not, though, yeah, hypothetically, 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 I was thinking, yeah. if next week was our last show, yeah. and there's no one on after us because they just put onto some automatedness, yeah. what's to say that we just stay here forever? All night or forever. Order some food in, yeah. come in through the window because we're going to barricade downstairs. We can bring our sleeping bags with us. I certainly we will. We can just chill our beans in here. And we just transmit forever. Just whatever transmit. Whatever trash we want. Oh, yeah. Like more of this. More awful, awful stuff. Yeah, just forever. What, what, are, you, what are you suggesting? No, nothing. You're not invited. Nothing. Whoa, 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 you made plans and you're not inviting me? No, no, sorry, listen to the elastic band. What do you mean? Who are you taking? Are you trying to kidnap me? You planned to kidnap me? No, no, we didn't write your theme, you just sing it there, did we? No, no, we're not going to kidnap you. What would you do if you kidnap me? I'm not going to kidnap you. I've just been silly, God bless you. Would you do horrible things? No. No. Unspeakable things? Maybe. Sexy things? Yeah. Oh, that sounds, uh. Sounds good. It doesn't. It sounds awful. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like he's in the middle of a fat panic attack. <laughs> <laughs> and what are you getting for your tea? Pizza. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you've, you've ordered a pizza. Oh, yeah. I've just busted. it. No, okay. Herod. Yeah. You've ordered a pizza, which means you probably will experience fat panic tonight, won't you? I definitely will experience a little bit of fat panic tonight. Would you like to explain the song of the week? Yes. Um, well, if you remember last week... Uh, you got told off, didn't you? You told me off, because I chose a song that I liked. Yeah, and it's supposed to be a bad song. Yes, and my excuse was because music is subjective, it could be bad to some of the listeners, it might not be. It just and depends. it was, I think. Uh, it wasn't, it was brilliant. No, no, it's subjective, remember. Oh, yes, I know, but I'm talking from my, oh, my perspective, you see. Your perspective. My perspective. From up there on your big eye I'm, I'm not going to be uh, giving someone else's opinion, am I, Bambi? Don't be stupid. <laughs> <laughs> So this week's <laughs> yeah <laughs> this week's song. Um, I'd so is this a, a bad song that you found? I found it. Yes. Okay. Uh, other people have found it too. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Just like Australia. But for the purposes of this exercise, which is called Song of the Week, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> One might assume that uh, it was a good song. Okay. But the thing is, right. I've d I've been a bit naughty again. But oh, I, ch I chose a song what? that I listened to, what? and I thought, "Oh, that's a bad one. Right. Oh, that, that'll really make them go." Oh, me is a bleeding. Yeah. Um, but I, I have listened to it a couple of times since I downloaded <laughs> you it. You like it now? <laughs> I do like it. I can't listen to the original now without right. going, "Oh God, that's horrible." Okay. Well, me and Bambi will judge whether it is horrible or not. That's fine. I know, I know like for it, a fact that you will. Say and if it's we horrible. like it, then you'll get a spanking. You will say it's horrible. Um, it's an artist called VVM, um, oh. who I've actually gigged with. Um, yeah. Oh, it's not really uh, nice that you the song's bad live on the radio, then, if you've... No, we, we had a conversation, he, he said he didn't like Aphex Twin, and I said I do. So I made the... So you're married now? I Well, I, I kept saying that I liked Aphex Twin in front of him, because I knew he didn't like <laughs> Aphex Twin. <laughs> to annoy him. To annoy him, of course. He doesn't perform anymore now, though. Is but, it, for uh, that reason? But he, 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 so, he sods songs up. He completely for a living. sods them, for a uh, and this is the, one of the ones that he did. It's John Lennon, Imagine, right by VVM. Yeah, this song's more about why we. <laughs> this is awful. 
What's wrong with it? Sounds like clangers in a microwave. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> clangers in a microwave. Yeah, so... So for next week, make sure you get a song that I'm not going to like. Oh, I hate this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Morgan masochist fantastic. In, 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 if anything, I prefer Bride of Chucky. And that's I know, but it. now you've told us that you don't like this, <laughs> this is the worst song. I hope the listeners out there think it's the worst thing ever. <laughs> We're playing this one at your funeral next month. My, oh. <laughs> my dear wife just messaged in saying, well, that's horrific. <laughs> <laughs> she meant the entire show, not yes. just the song. Oh, no. <laughs> yes, <Yeah>. in general. <laughs> nice. Oh, I'm generally, I'm generally disturbed. Yeah, and you, you yeah. said you quite like that now, but you are, you enjoy that. He, no, he, he's mm. you've got to remember he's wrong, isn't he? Well, yeah, well, he is to, always. I've just got more of an open mind than you no. squares. <laughs> 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 uh, it's like you know when you rubberneck at a car accident. <laughs> Yes. Or you look at things and become desensitized to them, and That's, it just becomes, yeah. yeah, it's all right now. It's not really, it doesn't have the same effect as it did the first time. So if we played this every week, every <laughs> song, I imagine you'd probably get used to it. You'd probably start to like it. Well, after a while, <clears> like, kind of some weird effect on you. Mm. Mm. Like, perhaps. Like Stockholm a tra- syndrome type the, thing. Yeah, like the only way we're going to know that is to try to it out. Every week. Well, this is the thing. I, uh, although we all pick our own tracks, yes. I generally kind of put a little production quickly together before the show. Yes. So, you'll never know, will you? Morgan true. will never know we'll until never it's know. happening. And then you'll sit there and go, I can't believe you've done it again. <laughs> I can't believe it. I'm so upset. And you'll go, wah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> wah! <laughs> <laughs> I've never said anything, <laughs> but we just know. Mm. Oh no, my bread's falling, but it's lying down again. I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> that was awful, though. Even your wife agrees. It was awful. <laughs> yes, it was. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Yeah. Um, now for the next segment, it's plug that show. Oh, plug that show. So we're going to plug a show. Okay. What show are we plugging? Oh, yeah. So this is a stand-up night. It's by the Laughing Pub Comedy Club. It's at the Southern Cross on the 28th, 28th of June, starting at half past eight. Tickets are four pounds, and some of the performers that are on are yeah. uh, comedians such as Matty Oxley, um, Bethany Emma, uh, Jim McMaster. It's headlined by uh, Carl Gillespie. Some other headlines, uh, some sorry, some other acts are to be announced, and there's also going to be another person on who, there. Who is that other person? I hope, hope he can stand up to that standard of act on his show. Yeah, I hope so. It's Herbert Italian. Oh, oh yes, I've heard of him. Herbert. That's good, isn't he? We did a gig well, with him in Edinburgh. How did that go? Oh, is that the one where he rolled around on the floor? <laughs> yeah, everyone loved it. Oh, that was so avant-garde. <laughs> yeah. It was, oh, man, that, that changed lives. It, it did. did. It mine. Really did. changed mine. Yeah. Um, I'll just clarify that this geezer uh, yeah. is not me. No, no, no. no, 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 no. We, did, we wouldn't have thought that. Um, not at all. But you might see me at the gig yeah. doing something. Yeah, watching the comedy, I imagine. Yeah, I'll, I'll be there, yeah. supporting. Um, but Herbert Italian, <coughs> I must admit, is, is is not me. Will you and Herbert be standing together for photos? Yep, that'll um, somehow work. Yeah, Photoshop. I want... To, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like a photo of you and Herbert, please. And what would your response be? Of course. Uh, of course. Yeah, I won't be going to that comedy night. Why? Why? Well, I don't... You're not going there to support... No, Herbert, Italian. I'd, uh, well, no. Why? No. He's I've coming on a little holiday with me. I'm going on holiday with Bambi Rishi. Where are you going? We're going to Glasgow. Glasgow, we're going to kiss. Glasgow's <laughs> not really a holiday, is it? <laughs> we're going to go and kiss in the hotel room. It's a, it, a what? <laughs> uh, sorry, I just popped out. Okay. What hotel are you staying in? Uh-huh. Uh, I don't know. The Hotel of Love. <laughs> uh, we're going to sell my wife's... Um, You're going to sell your wife? <laughs> sell my wife's wares. Yes. The things she makes, uh, which you can buy at www.downtherabbitholeshop.com. Yes, there's some lovely stuff on there. You should definitely check it out. I have some of that stuff. He does. He didn't yeah. pay what, for it. You, your own, like you've bought, or yeah, like his I've, wife's? Yeah, like I've purchased it. 
No, no, the stuff that Mo Heff has made. Oh, it's made. And it's, but... it's pretty damn good, I have to say. Yeah, what kind of stuff does she make? Unlike the comedy on the 28th. <laughs> 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 Don't bother. <laughs> well, it, it, it's no qualms on me, I'm just watching Oh, yeah, just watching it, of course, yeah, yeah. yeah. Herbert yeah. Italian noise. Yeah, no, it's not him, it's, he's all right. He's marvellous. That, that's that, that weird baby com- that's headlining. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wah, 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 There's a baby, baby headlining, and that dude with a funny arm. Nah, I'm not going to bother. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but, but basically, Herbert Italian has been compared to the standard of like me with my impressions on tour. Oh, uh, yes, that, 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 that good. That People good. always say that you look alike. They do, which is it, which oh. is it, oh. it can't be true because he's Italian and I'm not. So could you just hear that motorbike driving that was part through of the Silent Hill? Oh, it was for you. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, we do look alike. But he's Italian, I'm not. So exactly. Dink. Yeah. But you are. Well, what type of stuff does she sell? Oh, she. Thank you for asking. Uh, yes, she sells uh, beautiful acrylic jewellery. Oh, yeah. And uh, more recently, we are experimenting with some other things, and there'll be more to come. Yeah, leather and yes. <laughs> whips and chains. <laughs> yep, yep. They're not on the website though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what was the website again? It was all the W's down the rabbit hole shop dot com. Check that out. Free advertising. No, you can do with Reese because you're not listening. No, you're not listening, are you? I bet he is. I, um, bet, I bet he's not. I don't think he ever <laughs> listened. The only time he ever listened was the last show that uh, me and Dylan did, and he was just to make here. sure you left. I think he was making sure that we didn't do swearsies on the last last ah. moment. Uh, well, he doesn't know that we're going to be taking hostages possibly next week. If if it is our last show next week, so you we'll are taking hostages. No, no, no. no oh, no, no. sorry. Hostages oh. for sausages. <laughs> sausages for sausages. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's um, in June. What's this show <laughs> being called today? Oh, this show. Oh, what's the name of the show? The name of the show. The name of the show yes. is uh, If Tina Called the Shots. If, if Tina, Tina called, called the Shots. That's the name of the show. Yep. I have to say, for our second show since coming back, it's been brilliant. I've really enjoyed myself this have week. Have you? Yeah. Did you not enjoy it last week? I've got a grade four. It's been so enjoyable. <laughs> <laughs> I've still got half a dafty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I still haven't experienced such a thing. Yeah, and but that's alright. You're in Glasgow. Mm. When we get to Glasgow, you will. Yeah, never, it's you never had a it. Glasgow kiss. <laughs> what, on your... I'm a, I'm on your grade four. On my grade four. <laughs> <laughs> kiss at Glasgow, kiss on my grade four. <laughs> 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 um, so yeah well I hope you have a good time we will we we still, it's not the end of the show by the way I know yeah we've still got minutes left we're so I think um, what were you, were you going to say sorry Ben I was going to say we're going on the train aren't we yeah we're going to go on the train choo 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 um, would you play a song for me yeah which one um, could you play um, uh, System of Down yeah uh, chop suey. Oh yeah, what a try! But, but the one where every time they say up, oh, it gets faster. Would you like me to speed it up? Yeah, every every time they say up, oh, could right. you just speed? Yeah, it? that's a yeah. bit of a random request, but I don't mind doing that. I'd for like you. to hear that. Anything for you? Yeah. yeah. I thought, thanks, babes. <laughs> <laughs> they say up. Look at him, he's jealous. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but they do say up quite a lot, so that's going to take a while, isn't it? Well. We'll no, no, figure it out. No, not a while. It's going to take much shorter. Much shorter. It's going to take much shorter. It's going to take much shorter. It's going to take much shorter. We speak good England. <laughs> yes, we do. Imagine what the show would be like if we didn't drink. You, you were drinking. You, you were. were. Oh yeah, it was me, wasn't <laughs> it? Did you forget about that? Yeah. Go into the bag again. Yeah. 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 Go into the. <laughs> Tequila. So this is System of a Down, Chop Suey. I'm going to speed it off here. Thanks, babes. Only on the up, so Love yeah. Love you. Okay. Love you. I love you. I love you. Oh, <laughs> you're my favourite. Oh, now who's the drunk? <laughs> <laughs> well, we were going to play that song, but uh, as as we have discovered... Oh, yeah, I forgot. That it many of them work. Before, the... None of this works. Give us so, a second, I will find it. Good, good, okay. Good. So, what are you doing immediately after this show, then? <clears throat> I'm going to go home. Yeah. And I'm going to eat some... Pizzas. Pizza! Pizza! Oh, no, left. just the one. Oh. Just the one. I had a kebab yesterday. Did you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this is that part of the show where we're just trying to fill in those last is. few minutes, isn't it? I mean, I could do more. <laughs> Hello, I'm Noel Edmund. When I'm in Middlesbrough, I listen to the Dab Tower. Sponges. Did that work for you? Did I speed it up enough? 
That, yeah. was, that was pretty well done. Yeah, thanks for that. It you're welcome. Perfect. Anything for you. Yeah. Oh, you're amazing. <laughs> sponges, yeah. Yeah, sponges. So, what most people didn't know is that Helen Daniels' main job was mm. uh, sponges. Yes. She was the sponges she on Neighbours, wasn't sponges. she? Yeah. She, I remember She that. would help um, put the makeup on. Yes. She would help mop up mess. She always mopped up the mess. With and the, she did she mop up your piddle that you'd left earlier. And she would absorb <laughs> knowledge from everyone she met. Helen Daniels. Helen Daniels, everyone. Who round of applause for I Helen. think so. God rest her soul. Is she? Is she? Is she? Yeah. Oh. oh. Sorry about that. Yeah. So what are your plans? Um, for the rest of the week? <laughs> just pizza. Yeah. I can imagine. Pizza, fat panic. I can imagine listening to that Imagine track as well. You <laughs> yeah, you should. you should listen to that again later on, when yeah. you, before you go to bed. Mm. Pop it on. Nope. Have a, have a nice little listen to that, get it in your head. Yeah. And then tomorrow morning when you wake up, use your alarm, wake yourself up with <laughs> it. I want to st- wait and start the day. Oh, yawn. Time for day. <laughs> <laughs> That'll make me very refreshed. I think it will. Yeah. Brush your teeth with it. What about you? Um, tomorrow I'm going to wake up not to that I'm going to wake up to my neighbours shouting at their children yes oh, does that happen every single morning it's, mm. it's wonderful why do I have them that. if they're just going to shout at them I don't know maybe that's what they wanted like they, they, they were shouting just, each other. It's, so it's like anger therapy yeah we'll have kids and then we can take it out on them and as we as we know like it won't affect the kids at all they'll grow up to be really nice people no they'll probably grow up to resent the parents and then take it out on their own children it's yeah. a vicious cycle it could is. happen we got very serious there no, no nothing wrong with that <sighs> well why don't we all just take a big deep breath take our clothes off <clears throat> yes and a deep breath. Should we do the deep breath together? Yeah. Like in through and the nose, out as through we, the mouth. As we exhale, clothes off. If you like. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, ready? Yeah. In through the nose, guys. And out through the mouth. <sighs> Zip. <laughs> so, um, that's better. been the Daft Hour. Thank you very much for listening, everyone, at home. On the internet, oh, in the okay. car, in a truck, <laughs> on an <laughs> underground, plane. in an orange, pretending to be segments, hiding in the wall, on a blimp, creating new things like paper for the first time in history. Mm. I hope you've enjoyed the show. I don't, but either way, next week, you know, ring in like we asked many times, and you didn't like. W- what's your problem? Nobody's listening. That's the problem. We don't have any listeners. You can find That's us on Twitter at Daft Hour. You can find us on Facebook.com forward slash the Daft Hour. Like our page, share it out. You can also find us on YouTube at the Daft Hour and listen to old episodes, and these episodes will be on. And what's the number? It's 01642 As if I've That's learned that. 01642. I'm getting a call. 688104. <laughs> is it your missus? Hello? Yeah, I'm on the radio. Right, we're going to have to go. I'm on the radio. Right, stay daft, T-side. Bye, bye, bye. I'm bye, on bye, the bye, radio! Bye, 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 bye. I'm on the radio! Bye, bye. Yes!